I can't scuba and what has all of this been about? fan mail lots of fan mail lots all the fan so mail. you do you want me to go first you go first okay yeah. so the first thing we got is it's been like the holidays so we got lots of chocolate these are so cute i know they're very festive look at them they say lots of festive things i love that like holly jolly <laughs> all right we also got a lot of tootsie pops which i don't know why but they're fun you know I'm always down for a good Tootsie Pop. Are you? Or Okay. <laughs> we also got this. That's iconic. It's useful. It looks really good on you. Mm -hmm. And you. some Christmassy Pop Rocks. Um, Ooh. Tasty Explosion. We love the idea of Christmas Pop Rocks. Peppermint cotton candy. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> the cotton. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> tree flavor. Christmas tree. Pine. Pine, Pine. Pop Rocks. Hit me. No. Pour me? No. Not me? Mm -hmm. No. Ready? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have pressed them freshly myself. I made those. I, I just, I. So do we think we can use this app for cotton nectar? Oh wait, what about this? Is there a bee? I'm guessing you already looked at these. I didn't actually, but I just felt like they wouldn't have a plain peach V8 juice. 100% pineapple juice. Yeah, you're right. Okay, wait, let's go back this way. Peach tea. A mood. Let's just use orange Gatorade, I guess. That could Wait, work. so this is a peach bellini. 
Yeah. I looked at these juices, but not that close. Oh, this could be something. Like, this has milk in it, so this is like yogurt mm, juice. Don't want, not interested. <laughs> Can't believe you don't want yogurt, believe. Who knew this could be so hard? Here is... Let's make hummus cocktails. Hummus cocktails oh, did we look on this wall? I attempted to, but not that serious. Nantucket nectars. I said that's so excited. There's a mango. We don't do mango, remember? Um, we don't consume that. There's a tropical blend that has peach, pineapple, or is that a mango? Hmm. Okay. So I think we go back to the naked juices. some meal. You're literally an animal. Into our Prosecco. No. Mustard Bellini. Ew! Easy clean non-stick Bellini. Chunky peaches. We could just take the peach juice from the peach... But it's not peach juice. juice. It's water sugar juice. Uh -huh. But this is where I would have expected it to be because yeah. puree usually comes in a can. I can feel that. Because you said it's like lumpy peach juice. It really is like a thin smoothie. Kind of like a cranberry sauce, but. Not at all. Let's get some candied yams. <laughs> what if we just squeeze a peach? Wait, they're not squeezable. If we actually just I think we might just have to get that juice and change it from peach to. What juice? The one, that bottle you had? Oh, the apricot one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apricot Bellinis it is. <laughs> Post dinner apricot Bellini. Here's sake, just if you were wondering. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna put it in your bag. <laughs> Do we need anything else? Sour mix. <laughs> Should we just try to find that? If anywhere doesn't have it, it would be this store. There's no reason to look at it, you just do. Do we want one of each? Yeah. Great. I don't know the difference in flavor, to be honest. Okay. All right, back we go. You too. We are back from the grocery store. Um, we didn't find peach puree, but I got back and I was reading this recipe. Also, look at how cute this is. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, um, anyways, um, it says, this works great with other fruits too. Blood oranges, mangoes, and raspberries all work wonderfully. You can make your own puree by muddling or blending, blah, 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 blah. So we didn't find raspberries or mango or that, but we found apricot puree. So we're gonna make some apricot bellinis and see how it goes. Okay, so it says spoon the white peach puree into the bottom of the champagne flute. Okay, we don't have champagne flutes, we have wine glasses um, of just like white wine variety, but that's okay. So do you, I'm gonna work on starting to open the Prosecco. Would you like to sure. pour some of that into the bottom Can of the you these? point her away, maybe in a way? I just don't like, I'm already, I, don't, don't be nervous. No, I, can you like, not, it's already pointing at us. No. It's not going to open for a long time. I still have to get off I all this protection. I don't believe it because we got that last time. It opened right away. I have to get all this protection. Well, as soon as you undo it, as soon as you undo it, I don't want to be I'm too close. Bye, I can't, I can't handle it. Tell me what, um. <laughs> Got her. Oh, guys, um, this is Luna Nuda Prosecco, and 
We love them. That smells, oh my gosh, these are gonna be so good. Ooh. Yeah, I'm ready, I am ready. Luna Nuda, Yums. Mm. All right, so I'll pour probably like about an inch into those. That's perfect. She's thick. And then it said to top with Prosecco and sour mix. It says it's made of page 17. Oh, fresh lemon or lime. Well, we chose both. And so we're gonna use both. Okay. So I kind of usually just like do a square around, like in a circle. And then Okay, top off with Prosecco, Luna Nuda. It's so bubbly. That's what everything is about. It, <laughs> it looks like beer. <laughs> if I can't scuba, then what's it all been about? Wow, cheers. Cheers to these apricot bellinis. I'm oh. a fan. I like it. I it's kind of just like sparkling apricot juice. It's like a mimosa, but less harsh. Because mm -hmm. it's Prosecco, maybe. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I think it's a win. All right, folks. So next week, we will be back. And what we're going to do is we are going to a beer glass etching class mm -hmm. where we, we etch beer glasses. With like whatever design you want. Or yeah, what? yeah. So they'll show us how to do it, and then we'll kind of walk you guys through the process. So too, stay tuned it. for that. It'll be fun. So. We'll be etching, drinking, eating. Yeah. All of the activities at once. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, this has been fun. We tried something totally new. Love that. First new drink of the new year. Welcome to 2019. We are here, and we. This is gonna be our year, guys. Like. <laughs> we have a lot of new partnerships. We're really starting to expand just what we do in general. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited. We have a lot of new opportunities this year and just a lot to look forward to. And we hope everyone else does too. Well, cheers to 2019. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.